Two home invaders are on the run right now after a crime spree in Clarksville. The couple is wanted for tying up a man and woman and then taking their truck. News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen has been following this developing story for us all day. The question is, Alexander, do police think that they're armed? Rory, according to Clarksville Police, they're armed with a gun and multiple knives. I learned today that the couple is believed to be involved in at least two other incidents. It all started on Saturday evening around 5 when a shoplifting incident was caught on camera. A woman and a man brandished a gun when asked to show a receipt at the Walmart on Madison Street. Then investigators say the same couple was spotted on Wednesday at 315 at the Walmart on Wilma Rudolph Boulevard. Police converged on the area. The suspects took off in a Ford car that was reported stolen out of Rutherford County. A witness tells us they were driving recklessly. Due to safety concerns, we are hiding his identity. First, they cut me off because I tried to get in the turning lane to turn into here, but they were good in the turning lane mm -hmm. and blocked everybody. Okay. And then that's the last I saw until I came around, and that's when I saw them ditch the car and get out and run. The witness says the couple hightailed it into the woods, and another person saw them fire a shot around 325. Within a minute and a half, the cops showed up, canine units and everybody. Police believe the same suspects committed a home invasion just minutes later at the Waterford Landings complex. Detectives say the victims fought back at first. The woman tried to wrestle the female suspect for the gun. During the altercation, the male victim was hurt. Then they were both tied up. It's pretty scary because my wife and I talked about it last night that it's so close to home. Sometime this morning, the home invasion victims were able to break free and call for help. The suspects took off in their white GMC truck with a Texas plate and tow mirrors. Hopefully they'll catch these people because they definitely need to be somewhere other than in the public. Police tell me the male home invasion victim is now in stable condition. If you see the suspects, call 911. Vicki.